realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Rodman. I can make it on Christ. Solid rock I stand. All of the ground is seeking fame. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I do not trust the sweet spring, but wholly lean on Jesus' day my hope. My my joy, joy, my confidence, my confidence. His, name. His name, it is name. Everybody, this is me, your host, Calvin Logan, the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a ball, we're going to have a blast. We encourage everyone right now 
God is going to make some things happen for us. It's the time. It's the season of the year that no hold back because we're not going to hold back. We're going to put our foot forward and put God ahead of our lives. So I encourage everyone right now, this is going to be a great day. But without further ado, before well, we get into our our phenomenal guest, let's go into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, want to thank you, Father, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father, for your love, your support. We thank you, Father, that everyone who's calling in right now, from north, south, east, and west, their lives being changed. Holy Spirit, is, as I decrease, I guess decrease, you're going to increase. And, Father, your way, your will will be done on this call and on the replay. And we praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, um, it's me, your host, Calvin Logan, with the Logan Power Show. Again, nationwide, worldwide, here on the Lations Radio. Uh, we thank you for listening to us. We thank you all for this opportunity. So we'll go to our first guest. Um, she has her own, ladies and gentlemen, her own show for as well, Miss Teresa Hannah. How you doing, ma'am? Are you on the line? Well, how are you doing, Calvin? Good afternoon. You're doing great. How about you? I'm loving your yes. show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to have you on. We had a little technical difficulty. That's how I was reaching out to Miss Felicia, saying like, "Hey, please, 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 tell us that not not." Uh, nothing, nothing done wrong. Just have a little technical difficulty. So I thank Miss Kimmy Kim keeping us strong and taking care of me. These these things happen. These things happen, especially with these um this new technology. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> understand. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Well, you like I said, we would definitely want to get more involved with you. I know you have a plethora of accomplishments you've accomplished. Let people know who you are, what you're about, and about your great show as well. Well, okay. Uh, my name is Teresa Hanna, and for over 40 years, I produced and hosted a television show um, out of Nashville, Tennessee that was on NBC uh, called The National Gospel Show. It was the same show that launched the career of Dr. Bobby Jones, <laughs> Which, by the way, I had an opportunity to have him on as my guest, and we had a wonderful time uh, on Source Radio Network. Uh, during the years that um, I did Nashville Gospel, um, we had all types of gospel artists from all genres, all stars. If you can think of a star, we had that star. We were the um, the first and only gospel music television show in the world at that time. And uh, the Lord just blessed us, blessed the platform, enabled Bobby to uh, jump, skip, and hop o- over to BET. Uh, I remained um, in Nashville, Tennessee, and on, on the NBC station and carried on the Nashville Gospel Show uh, and raised my family and whatnot. But we had a, a wonderful time. And during those years of doing the Nashville Gospel Show, I did it with a gentleman also by the name of Tommy Lewis, we were we were able to invite not only the stars in gospel but up and coming uh, stars during that time. I remember when Mary Mary came into the studio, uh, their song Shackles had just been released, and uh, the first time I heard it was in my studio. And I remember us going back to the dressing room, and the girls was, was were talking about you know how blessed they were, how God had blessed them, and. You know, where they come from, they come from an area where they didn't know if they could pay the rent. And now, you know, God has blessed us. So I, I want to encourage those out there who are going through something, who are working in the kingdom, uh, don't worry. Payday is just around the corner. I want to say that right now. So we had all, all forms of gospel music, Christian music, um, all the stars uh, like Sandy Patty, uh, oh, my goodness, just, you know, so many uh, in Christian, of course, in gospel. You know, we had all of the stars like Shirley Caesar, Kirk Franklin. I mentioned uh, Mary Mary, C.C. Winans, V.B. Winans. You know, you name them, we had them on the show. Got and, of course, quartet right. legends as well. <laughs> well, man, like I said, you, you, you're definitely a legacy icon. You paved a lot of ways for, for uh, people. And, you know, it has paid off. Now you think about it, you've been doing this for 40 years strong. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did you ever yes. think that you'd be in this? 
did you ever think you would have gotten this far in your life or been have a platform for yourself? No, to look back of no. How long you been doing? No, I'm just a little little country girl, born and raised in um in Tennessee in uh, a small town called Covington, Tennessee. Uh, first time I ever saw television. Uh, one of my classmates had a chance to go into Memphis and do a talent show. She played the piano. And I just thought to myself, that is really, really interesting. But I was always the child that I believed in prayer. I believed in getting on my knees and praying to the Lord, and I did that constantly. Uh, as I grew up there and, and tried to figure out what I wanted and where God wanted me to be, because those things were important to me, I wanted to be a dietitian. And I was okay. going to Tennessee State University to become a dietitian. Uh, but when I got there, I saw a line that said speech and drama. And the Lord said, get in that line. I said, no, Lord. <laughs> he said, get in that line. <laughs> I said, mm-mm. I, I told my folks, I'm going <laughs> to be a dietitian. I'm saying this line. And he, the third time, he said, get in that line. And he pushed me. <laughs> I got in that line. <laughs> And um, in that area, uh, it changed over to communications. Um, I had a chance to um, um, learn more about, you know, media, um, radio and television, uh, formatting shows. Um, I was there during the time that Oprah Winfrey was also there. She was um, uh, she was doing a show. She was very popular in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, she was doing gotcha. the news. Uh, in Nashville, after she left, well, WBOL Radio, um, they they pulled her into uh, uh, CBS at the time, and she was very popular on air personality. We were all very very proud of her. And as she was doing classes in, at Tennessee State, I, I remember during that time, I had I had a graduate class, uh, and I would go I would be finishing up my graduate class and I would see her come in. Well she had Oprah had these two magnificent beauty beautiful Afghan hounds. And she would go and she would take her seat in the classroom and they would take two seats opposite her. She would have her book and her her writing material or whatever. And I, I swear it looked like those dogs wanted to ask her for a sheet of paper. That was <laughs> that was <laughs> I remember about her and uh, that that she was also a fine lady. But um, the Lord has really, truly been good to me. No, I didn't know I was going to follow that, this, this path. I followed this path all of my life. I've done radio and TV. I've been on both ends uh, as a producer, also doing documentaries, uh, hosting, hosting live television shows, um, being on the Sisters in the Spirit Tour, uh, where I brought on people like Shirley, uh, Shirley Caesar, Mary Mary, um, many of the great ladies uh, in in gospel music. So the Lord has truly, truly blessed me. Currently, I'm back in the media and uh, okay. doing uh, shows on three very wonderful uh, radio stations and looking to get involved in TV again. Uh, through a network that is, they're a baby BET, and they're on the internet, BTV. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. And you can go to uh, btv.com, and you can, you know, you can get us. But I am just so excited about where the Lord is placing me now, the wonderful team that he has placed around me in order that we can be yes. about the business of the gospel and placing people in the spotlight. My show is called In the Spotlight with Teresa Hanna. Um, and we are we are doing celebrities, um, uh, people like Ben Tanker, people like uh, Dr. Bobby Jones, and we're also doing uh, up-and-coming artists. So we, we're seeking out the best of the best that God has um, to put on God's platform. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Well, it seemed like, you know, God is really catapulted to you. Um, you know, you still got that fiber. You got a lot of plethora of knowledge that's, that helps out a lot of us. And that's a good thing, you know, you, you paved the way. Now, from a person that's listening and they're saying, like, you know, uh, their ambition is radio. Their ambition is television. Um, mm-hmm. are they like, is it like maybe can you give us, like, maybe a couple, maybe one or two tips 
that's helped you been successful in this industry so long? Like, what can you advise someone? Stamina, stamina, don't give up. Be persistent. Always travel that path that you know that the Lord wants you to do. Don't give up no matter what happens, no matter if they tell you you don't sing loud enough, you're not pretty enough, you'll never make it. When people start telling you those things, those are cues for you to know I'm on the right path. (laughs) God still direct your steps. Don't give up. Listen to him. Pray to him. Uh, my daughter Elena has a, uh, a, a a television show um, on the internet on Facebook called Stay in His Face, and it's about prayer and it's about you uh, continually having that relationship and communication with God. That's the first important uh, point to do to be successful. Stay in His okay. face. Talk to Him. Okay. Have a personal relationship with Him. Don't let other people misuse you and sways you to back up and go to the back of the bus. No. Stay at the front of the bus, and when it's time for you to drive, drive it. (laughs) And that's the best advice I can give you. Amen, amen. Well, hey, you heard Ms. Teresa kind of giving you all steps, tools. She's telling you, be persistent, do not quit, keep fighting, Um, keep your faith strong, you know, never give up in a battle. Never give up. Yes, man. The war, the war is not over with, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're Amen. still, we're still, we're still on the battleground. So, the way things are going now, and you know, technology is changing. Things are changing mm-hmm. on twenty all the time. Um, and now all you're, the yeah, time. When, when I started out, uh, television stations were, u- were using a take that they called um, two inch, which is a big bulky reel. And then over the years, it evolved into one inch, which was a, which was a smaller version of the big, bulky reel. Uh, then it changed into a set, which was the three-quarter, which was a little bit lighter. It went from there to beta and beta ST. <laughs> and then from there <laughs> to, you know, a disc CD. So to, and, and now look where we are. You know, we're, we have moved into the Internet. Uh, so, right. you know. God is something else, and he's moving us swiftly, but all of these tools are not man's tools. They belong mm-hmm. to God, and right. we're to take those tools and to use them for his glory. You know, talk it's about right. him. Uh, pray to him. Give him the worship, you know, because he is worthy. He's just a, a great, great God. He's wonderful. And, you know, we've all had trials and tribulations that happen in our lives and things things that we say, oh, this happened, and I'll never be this, and I'll never do that. But no, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back down on your knees and talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, where should I go now? I guarantee he will direct you, and to the best of your ability, you will be successful the way, might not be the way you want to be, but it will be the way he wants you to be. Amen, amen. 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 Hey, man. Now, Mr. Rusanna, I know that, you know, your name is valuable, and um, I got your information from Ms. Uh, Felicia, so I, I definitely I always want to take, you know, what I'm doing here to hold another level, and people like yourself, um, I look as being, like, you know, the the um, actual pioneers that help Thank people. Thank you. Like, like, like myself. You've been doing it for 40 years. So for 40 yeah. years... Um, you've seen the, the ups and downs, the, the ins oh, and the outs. So, so yeah. I've always, I always know that uh, uh, you got to work gotta smarter. Them in season, out of season. For those who are yeah. wanting to start television shows or or be in radio or whatever, if they don't come, don't worry about it. Go to the next person because God is creating your soldiers to come on your radio platform. They're coming. Just keep doing yeah. it. Keep pressing. That's what I said earlier. Keep doing what God told you to do, and it will work out yes. for you. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Well, Ms. Ms. Hannah, how can people get in contact with you? Um, you can get in contact with me through um, Axe Management. You can go to axemanagement at live.com, or you can call my management, Ms. Uh, Felicia Knight, 404-432-432. Seven six four eight. 
Um, also, the Lord has given me a company of associates, Teresa Hannon and Associates. We are a media company, uh, as well as they're the, they're the people behind me, push me, keep me straight. <laughs> yeah, and you can call them at 615-636-0657. That's Teresa Hannon and Associates. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I think they're also working on my Twitter, what, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and social media things, and I tell you, but it, it's wonderful. You can reach me out there, and then there's BTV. Uh, you can also reach me through them. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, one thing before, before you know, before you go, and definitely, um, if you don't mind, if we can pray for you before you leave, before you get on to our next guest, um, the what is God telling you now since you you're You've dominated radio for 40-plus years. You're going into television. Uh, what is God telling you you have to do now? That you're, What's your next assignment? What do we, we need to do? You know, that's that's really a very deep question for, for me uh, because sure. I rely on him. Mm-hmm. Um, I have uh, what he has shown me. Uh, through talking to me and through prayer time, uh, which is to uh, complete the assignment on platforms as they open up to me uh, to make sure that people know about him. Uh, Young boys and girls, uh, adults, senior citizens, those who may not all over the world who may not have had an opportunity to know God, uh, that I am there uh, to be that light that he needs me to be, to call all men unto him, because when I do that, uh, he's, he's going to raise them up so that they know all about him, Jesus Christ, that he is our Savior, that he is the way. There's no other way uh, but him. He is the true light. He is the true king of this world. He is coming back again. And he is the, he, he, you know, people are lost today. There's so much happening today. There's a shootings. I think we just had one in Texas. Nobody knows what's going on uh, because the enemy has increased, um, has increased his negativity and, and bad things happening all around the world. But that's because our king is getting ready to come. So we don't want to, we don't want our king to find us sitting down sleeping. We want to be about our father's business. So um, I, I would say that, uh, in everything that I'm doing, going to do, is to be about my father's business, whatever it is that he tells me to do. And in this arena, it just happens to be media. And to also uh, be that platform for uh, young people who are so much seeking uh, to uh, for, for their talents to be heard for Jesus Christ, to be there for them, um, that they may praise the Lord in their way. And having that platform, whether it's radio or television, to introduce uh, young people uh, who have been anointed by Jesus Christ to do his work is what we're about. Amen, amen. Well, if you don't mind if we pray for you, you mind if we pray for you now? Oh, of course not. Okay. Father, we just want to lift up right now, Mr. Teresa Hannity. Father, we want to definitely to pour the heaven's blessings upon her. Father, as, as you've expanded and enlarged her territory, now she's going to television that the people are going to hear from north, south, east, and west. From the millions on, Father, that she's going to change lives through not only radio, through television also, Father. She's going to reach yeah. hands with those that people never think she thought she would ever touch. And her life will be never be the same again. It's going to cap with another level. She's going to be closer, closer to you. And we just praise and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And thank you so much for having me on your show. Um, I want, I'm praying that the Lord will lift this platform of yours to higher heights, uh, that others may be, uh, have, have an opportunity to know the Lord and, and to be saved. So that's what it's all about. And also I wanted to invite everyone to go to um, our website at BTV, that's Black Television. It's www.yourbt.info. Uh, I'm the director of programming uh, for that online television network. We're looking for shows. We're looking for talent. Uh, So please contact me there as well or, again, with um, at Teresa Hanna and Associates, and we would love that, all right? Uh, Yes, ma'am. I'll be getting in contact with you real soon. 
Thank you so much. God bless you. I've loved it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We appreciate you again, okay? All right. All right. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Black Lady Gang, you have a serious hand alive here in the Logan Power Show. And now we're going with our final guest. Uh, this gentleman has a great company, uh, Fresh Tech Solutions. He's the CEO, Mr. Darrell Norris. How you doing, sir? I'm great. How you doing, man? Fantastic. Glad to have you here on the show. Um, we definitely want to get down to your company, Fresh Tech Solutions, and the benefits they do provide. Tell us about your company. Tell us about what you provide. And, uh, hey, let's get down to it. So, yes, yeah, so Fresh Tech Solutions, uh, what we do is provide affordable mobile apps to businesses who think they really can't afford them. Um, you know, mm-hmm. most people, they, they hear the word app and instantly think it's going to be thousands and fifty, forty thousand dollars to develop, but we do that, you know, for for, for relatively low cost. Um, so, you know, that's 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 what we do. We also do web design, um, SEO, pretty much anything tech. I got it. I got it. Now, becoming the, the CEO of Fresh Tech Solutions, um, tell me why why'd you get started? Why you decided to go down this route in your life? Well, I've always been that techie techie guy. Uh, I graduated from Prairie View with a degree in computer engineering, uh, and I went to work for this huge Indian company called Tata uh, as a software developer for about five years. Um, basically, got got to the point where I was like, hey, I can be doing this for myself. Why am I doing this for somebody else? So I started Fresh Solutions and been kicking ever since. Okay. Man, that's, that's a blessing. Good that you uh, took the skills, with the talents you've had, and started your own business. I know a lot of people don't always reach out like that. Sometimes they get um, think they can't move, but you know when you know that it's right for you, it's right for you. Uh, so, how long has Fresh Tech Solutions? Tell people how long Fresh Tech Solutions has been in the business so far. Well, we've been we're going on two years. Um, it took the lead in 2016. Okay. Got it. Got birth in 2016, and when you talk about the apps and websites, you said that so can any you can make an app for any company and make it where they can um, order all kind of stuff with that. Is what Fresh Solutions can do. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we. we can focus on, well, I, I'm a firm believer that everybody needs an app. If you're a business, I think you need an app. <laughs> but yeah, we yeah we focus on. Um, we have a radio station. We have car washing companies, mobile detailing companies. We have house cleaning companies, churches. You know, pretty much what we do is we we take the lead that that business has and we digitize it and make it into a mobile app. Got it. Got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, for people who are listening to you right now, how can they get in contact with Fresh Tech Solutions today? Uh, a number of ways. We're on um, pretty much every social media. Um, just do a search for Fresh Tech Solutions. And our company is spelled Solutions with a Z on the end instead of an S. So you can do a search for it. Uh, our website is www.freshtechsolutions.com. We're on Facebook at Fresh Tech Solutions. And Instagram at Fresh Tech Solutions. And I'll tell you to give us a call at 713. Eight nine three eight one two five. Amen. Amen. Now, when thinking about your business and thinking about what's going on right now, the way the um, companies are going, where do you see yourself? What do you guys see where your company is going? You guys have been in two years, and I know the technological field, it's, it's a very high demand, but it's very competitive. So where do you guys see these guys self going these next couple of years? Where are we trying to go? Where's the goal? Well, our goal is to right now is just to get our client list up. Um, like I said, it's a lot of it's not a lot of people who these small businesses that have apps. So we wanna we mm-hmm. wanna focus on getting all of the people who think they can't afford an app, get them apps. Um mm-hmm. we also you know, we also wanna be more than an app development company. We we wanna be able to offer anything tech. We want to, in the future, be able to train and teach tech as well. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people that 
have the ability to do what we do, but they just don't. They just need somebody to bring it out of them. Got it. Okay. So pretty much, you guys can you you can do the apps, the websites, uh, make it very affordable for a customer to come and get it from you, and uh, they got to get on board, and you got a game plan for them, right? Definitely, definitely. We do free consultation, consultations so they can, you know, so we can evaluate what their business need is and how the app can help their business grow. Okay, got it. Absolutely. We know the Logan Power Show is going to definitely get in contact with you real soon. Um, that's the reason why we got you here on this show, this platform, because we want people to know um, how powerful you guys are. We believe that you guys are some of the next best, best things. Now, um, now looking. Hello. Did you ever see you guys um, at this level that you guys are now? When you think about it, I'm looking over you. What you guys done? Can, can you repeat that? I kind of lost you for just a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When looking at your business and looking at what you guys have accomplished so far, did you ever get like some self doubt, like saying, like, man, you know, maybe I need to go back to where what I was doing. This stuff ain't ain't working how I thought it was going to work. <laughs> yeah. uh, definitely, man. Definitely. Uh, being an entrepreneur, this is my this is my first business as well. So being an entrepreneur, there's okay. all kinds of ups and downs, and downs and ups, and ups and downs. So, I mean, yeah, it's, there are days you come in and be like, I need to go back to corporate America. <laughs> but, you know, you got you to gotta keep on pushing. You got you to gotta keep on believing in yourself. Um, you got to have a good support system to keep keep you going. Um, so, yeah, we, you know, there's there's times where we didn't have too many clients. I was like, okay, um, we need some, <laughs> need some kind of income to, to keep up. But, you know, they... It, like I said, it's it's up and down, it's up and down thing. Um, luckily, we've been up for the for 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 a second now, but I'm I'm preparing to go back down as well. But you know, it's that's, that's how the game goes. I got you. I got you. Oh, I love you. You know me. I'm, I always want to ask. You know, a lot of times in corporate America, when you're, when you're dealing with stuff. My word, you know, we're dealing with corporate America, and I, and I can testify to those people. You know, there's plenty of times, you know, I felt like quitting, felt like giving up, felt like, you know, it's about to be over. So I always want to, you know, encourage those others that I've seen come and want to be on the show and got all these great dreams. I want to see them have the same opportunities like I have. So that's the reason why, you know, I ask. That's the reason why I want to, you know, definitely want to get connected, and I want to um, make sure when I'm doing things that I'm always encouraging somebody while they're doing their business and and moving forward. So that's the thing I'm very, very keen on, and so that's why I encourage you that I know you'll do well. I know that you'll make a difference, and I know that you're gonna you're gonna make a, a big impact. And I'm here to help you. And I encourage anyone right now who's listening to me at this moment to uh, give Mr. Gary Morris a chance. And the reason why I'm saying this now is because I know what it's like to when people don't give you the opportunities like you need. And I believe that his company can be just as good as the, as the Facebooks, the Twitters, and things like that. Cause I believe he's that amen, good. Amen. I, definitely, I don't. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know him like that. But I tell people that I believe I've got faith like that. That's how I look. Right. I don't know. My producer's listening right now for Relations Radio. Miss um, Kimmy Ross Relations. I believe Relations needs their own app for what they're trying to do. The Morgan Power Show needs their own app for what we're trying to do. And I know what I'm trying to do with movies and TV series. You know, the app business is, is something that's very powerful and very needed. So that's the reason why I got you here on the show. Because I need powerful people here in 2018. So I believe you got the tools, man, to make it happen. That's why. Definitely. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you having me, man. Oh, 
what you're carrying. You know, you know, I want everyone who's listening to me right now, I want you to listen to this. It happens a lot in business in a lot of people today. We don't really invest in our neighborhoods anymore. You know, when a young man says, like, man, I got a dream, I got a vision, God put on my heart to do an app business or radio or television or, I don't know, open a bakery or a food joint, you know, we say, well, hey, you know, what does his portfolio look like? He had 8,000 customers. He may only have eight. Well, he may have 100. He may not have 1,000 yet. But you got to understand this. How Walmart got started, people trusted the plan. How Facebook got started, people trusted the actual plan. They didn't sit there and say, well, you know, um, it ain't going to work. And that, them CEOs kept moving. Twitter, Instagram. You look at all these different apps with iTunes. No one would ever have thought Apple would have been in a trillion-dollar industry 30 years ago. You'd have said that would never happen. You know, so so you gotta look at these things that you're you're on the ground level floor, and so I encourage all of you all who are on the ground level floor to give a person an opportunity. The worst thing, the worst thing that could ever happen when you invest in somebody is it didn't work out how you all planned, and that's it. Is it a lost investment? No, it's a learning experience. That's how I look at it. He said free con- free consultation. So what I would say, this is what I would say. This is just me, y'all. I'm talking about me. If you come into this man, you already have your pen and pad together. Write down what you're going to ask him because the knowledge that he has in that consultation will tell you, hey, he's the right man for you, or he'll put you in the right direction and let you know, like saying, well, hey, this may not be the opportunity for you. Maybe you need to know more about what I can do for you. So I want you all to understand this guy is really good. Um, he's got a vision. Give him an opportunity. Um, the app business, technological field, that's your personal experience. It ain't easy, but you need people that are happy back. And uh, he can rest assured I'll be calling him uh, within this week or two because, you know, I know we need to get connected. Not just because he's a guest on my show, but I believe he's great and destined for greatness. So I just want to encourage you that for you. Definitely, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So since you guys are doing some great things and you guys got the technological business, you can order people, can order stuff, do all kind of things, you know, apps, websites, things like that. Um, what else are you, are you planning to do? I know you're doing the apps, the website. What else do you have a, a given vision that you need to accomplish here in 2018? Well, we, we have, actually have a lot going on. Um, so Fresh Tech Solutions is was my first business. I actually just started a, another business uh, with two of my cousins who are also entrepreneurs. Um, it's called Granny's Grandchildren. And basically what we're trying to do is promote black excellence. Um, mm-hmm. We Currently, we're selling a couple of T-shirts: um, black, uh, black lawyer, black entrepreneur, black engineer, well, positive black. Um, but just you know, we want to promote the, those those professionals. You know, we I didn't get to see a lot of black entrepreneurs when I was growing up. Um, mm-hmm. Both of my parents worked for you know, IBM, and you know, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be an engineer. I didn't never really had the the example of an entrepreneur. Um, so uh, we we want to promote that and let people know that it is possible. I mean, I didn't I didn't really think it was possible for me to be an IT entrepreneur until after I graduated college. Yes. Um, so I I, I want I want people to see that. You know, I want people to see young entrepreneurs walking around this world. I think that's that that would be great for the youth. It would have been great for me. Uh, I might not have uh, worked in the corporate America for five years if I would have seen that. Got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, one thing I want to do, I want to encourage you. I'm going to tell you what God going to tell me what's going to happen to you. You're going to blow up, man. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be one of your people who are going to be one of your customers, maybe an investor down the road. But I believe you're going to be in the New York Stock Exchange. You're going to be in the NASDAQ, your company. It's going to be on the NASDAQ. It's going to be, it's going to be a company that's going to be a blessing to others. Um, biggest thing I can tell you right now, stay humble. Never 
say it small. Never, ever say small. You say it's a need because your company is a need. And what I mean by that, and this is what I want to tell you here, is that people understand it's an app, um, a website. You can't eat it. I just want to let people know. You can't eat websites. You can't eat apps. Um, they're not – the only you become a need is when you got the actual – customer flow going to it. And I, I want people to, to understand that. But you're going to become a need. And what I mean by a need is like a nurturing. You're going to become somebody like you drinking some water. I need fresh tech solution in my life because your job is to resolve my issue and be the help in a good way. And I want right. you to keep that in your in your mindset that when you mention Fresh Tech Solutions, you mention a, a company that what they do, they, they give you a fresh revelation, a technological situation to resolve your issue. That's it. I'm going to make your issue easily, easier on a 21st century level. That's my motto. I'm going to resolve Hello. your issue in a 21st century model, it's a simple model. It's like a one, two, three. I'm going to give you the formula to make your life easier. It's just like going to Walmart and I'm ordering something online and my groceries are ready when I come there to pick them up. If I go on to McDonald's and I order my meal, the app is ready. I'm good. If I need my orders and I need to order a whole bunch of food, hey, I go to the app, it's done. That's what I am, fresh tech solutions. I give you fresh revelation. My job is to get, make sure that it's technologically sound, positive resolution. That's it. Your solution, that's what I'm here for, is my resolution. Fresh tech solution. 21st century mindset. You're going to blow it, man. I receive all of that, man. I receive all of that. And I yes, appreciate sir. it. Absolutely. Anytime, anytime. Now, before you go, can we pray for you? No, please do. Please do. Absolutely. absolutely. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, we just want to thank you right now, Mr. Darrell Norris, right now. We right now, Father, that everything that he touches right now is going to be large, expand territory. Right now, speak to this man of God, large, expand territory. We claim, Father, that as his company grows, as the shares grow, that, Father, they go from the private sector to the public sector, that people are going to want to get his get his actual companies that you give him, his corporation, what he's doing, Father. Father, I claim, Father, that you bless this man of God like no tomorrow, that you open these doors up for him, Father. People are going to be calling him right now in the replay. They're going to be calling him right now as they as his websites, as their social media. People are going to grab hold of what he has a hold of, Father. Father, right now, I claim, Father, that this collaboration that what he's doing right now with myself and people that he touches, that they're going to bless those. That, Father, everything that he has his heart's desire for, that he's going to always remember how you helped him long before as he was a teenager, as he was a young boy growing up, and he wanted better for his life. And that, Father, that right now you've given him fresh revelation that he told him that I'm going to bless him everywhere he goes because he trusted you and he's leaving by faith. Father, he doesn't know everything, but you're going to give him the wisdom, the understanding, the insight to how to take his company to a whole other level. And, Father, everyone who comes will tell him, man, thank you for giving me a fresh revelation. Holy Spirit, you're going to give every person he touches a fresh revelation. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wait, sir. You said. So from now on, the Holy Spirit is there with you to lead you and guide you. You are there to give a fresh revelation to a 21st century situation. Hey, claim heaven's best for you. We thank you for being here on the show. You know, we're definitely going to have you come back again, and I definitely reach out to you next couple of weeks, I promise. Uh, to talk to you, get my consultation on. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you said Mr. Rell Noah's here live at Logan Power Show. We had our two great guests, Teresa and Hannah. These two guests here, I'm telling you, their lives are going to change. Um, I promise you, uh, you want to get in contact with them. 
Hey, I thank you again, Relations Radio, Miss Kimmy Robinson, and what she's about to do. I know Miss Kimmy Kim is listening in the background, so now she just heard the answer to her prayer because now Relations Network is going to have an app because you got the app now on the phone, and now you know the contact. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a coincidence, but hey, I, I know it's a blessed time. Again, my name is Calvin of the Logan Power Show. Go to a website right now, www.thelogampowershow.us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Remember, keep in mind, we're on three networks, HSBN Network, HSBN TV. Ladies and gentlemen, go right now to the website right now, HSBN.TV. Man, you will see our stuff on replay. We are on MFTN Network, Mission for the Nation's Network. Go to what's what's it right now? MFTN Network. See our stuff on replay. We are on All Nations TV, AllNationsTV.com. Every Sunday, 8:30 a.m. Monday, 2:30 p.m. Tuesday, 8:30 p.m. and Wednesday, 2 o'clock in the morning. MFTN Network. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. HSBN TV Network every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, God has been so good to me. I cannot tell you how good he's been. I'm on Relations Radio every other Saturday. My good friend is Monique Walker. She'll be taking the rounds, holding it down next week, Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, again, you can email us to loganpowershow, gmail.com, or call us at 843 843- Six nine seven five five four five. Family, I tell you right now, I'm humble. I know that people are, are you, if you're interested in donating to the show, go to the website right now, www.thelogampowershow.us. Click on the part that says donate. Hey, every seed counts. We know that your seed is going to help us get to the whole other level. We are a show nationwide, worldwide. We're making a difference on television and radio. Bless right now, Elations Radio, right now, Elations Network, any kind of Miss Kimmy Robinson, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, get connected, donate to what we're doing here, the radio show right now, follow us on Spricker, hey, love us even some more, we are also doing iHeartRadio as well, God so good, ladies and gentlemen, Stone Colors, there's five places as well, and God is a blessing, man. That's all the time I got. My name is Calvin Logan, the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. Hey, family, we love y'all. We appreciate you. We'll see you again in two weeks, Miss Monique. Miss Monique Walker, up with Mo, take us to help, take the realms, helms with her next week, Saturday. Miss Kimmy Kim, take us out. We love y'all, family. Peace. God has been good, but we walk by faith, not by sight. <laughs> We all have those moments when we doubt ourselves and those storms arise. And that's the moment when you know you need a miracle. It's gonna take a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? See, he's a walking miracle. Stress after stress after stress And you wouldn't even get out of bed Feeling that your life is depressed And everything that's going through your head See you are not alone There's a lot of people like you Feeling that you're on your own But let me tell you that somebody's with you See, he has been there with you from day one, day one, day one. And all the times you figure you was done. No. See, he was right there ordering your steps. Ordering your steps. And he don't fight for you till his last breath. It's gonna take a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? See, he's a walking miracle. Everybody needs a miracle. It's gonna take a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? 
to hear the walking miracle. Everybody needs a hero.